Hello and welcome to Nico Nico Sensei, yeah. <laughs> so welcome to part one of a two or three part series. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. <laughs> two or three part series on comic books. And, mo and for this one, comic books in two languages. So the basic ideas of this approach can be applied to any level or any language, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it focused on beginner and intermediate students. The first part will be about what comics to consider, and I'll talk about a few comics that I've used in the past to give you an idea of what you might be able to use in the future that might be of most value to you. Because when you're reading, you're still technically studying, and the more you read things you like, the more you will actually take time to study because you actually want to read stuff. The second part will be about places where you can buy them if you're living inside Japan or outside Japan. And part three if I decide to make it, because quite frankly it's a, it's a pain in the took us <laughs> is a very simple guide on how to buy comics on two sites if you're living in Japan. And if you're not terribly good at Japanese, I can show you one way or another on each site so that you can translate them into English so that you can navigate the sites and of course purchase on the sites. But if you have to talk to any of the sellers, that'll probably be in Japanese and that's on you. So without further ado, let's talk about some comics. So we have to start with the idea of novelty. What is novelty? Novelty is basically anything that is new and interesting. So when you're doing anything and some, something catches your attention, that's novelty. Something that keeps, sparks your attention and keeps your attention. Video games are great at this. Movies are great at this. Books are great at this. Um, <laughs> lectures, lectures not so much. <laughs> I don't know why. Keeping things with high novelty is is so important for when you're studying a language and I didn't utilize this in the beginning when I was starting to study Japanese and I've I've suffered as a result of it and so I want to help as many people not make that mistake as, as, as possible. Let's take one idea of comics with two languages and so one of the comics that I read in English that I had a very good grasp on was Evangelion. When it came time to buying the Japanese version I was already pretty well versed in what was going on here so the transition it wasn't easy but I had a very I had a pretty firm foundation in this one so it made the transition to that one a, a little bit easier. So for example what I did is I had already read the English so then when I got the Japanese I could compare and contrast them whenever I had a problem and I mean you can do it in any way you want to that's one of the coolest things about this. And while you might not understand every single word you'll understand the general idea and one of the main things I didn't understand when I first started, when first like five years of studying Japanese, <laughs> uh, from studying like Dr. Stephen Kresh and, and um, secondary language acquisition theory and all those kinds of fun things, is that it doesn't matter if you read and don't, it doesn't matter if you don't understand. One thing I really like about what Steve Kaufman said in one of his videos is that basically when you read, you're, you're continuously laying sediment in your brain. And I love that image so much. Every time you read something and see new words and words you know, you're either reinforcing words you know, or you're sprinkling new idea, like new parts in your brain that will, that will coalesce, that will come together later, and that will make, make meaningful, make what was not meaningful before meaningful in the future. And you really just need tons and tons of exposure. So even if you're reading stuff and you don't get it, that's okay. I wish I had known this stuff all those years ago because uh, I would, I'd start reading, I'd look up, I'd get to like the first page, look up 15 words, and then just be like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore. And then I wouldn't read anymore. And it's like, dude, you're not getting better by doing that. <laughs> you're actually getting worse. Duh. And so this is one way where you can get the basic idea of what's going on, not need a dictionary, and not have to slow yourself down for looking up every single word, every other word in a dictionary, which I did at the beginning. Another series I really enjoyed going through and going back and forth with was Dragon Ball. And so, again, compare contrast. Start to read the Japanese, and when you get lost, if there's something you really don't understand, even if you just read through the whole thing and don't understand anything, it's actually doing your brain a favor. Because you're still reading hiragana, katakana, and kanji, and to get better at reading, you have to actually read. It's completely up to you with, with how much you want to check, how much you want to look up in a dictionary. I wouldn't recommend much. Um, but the thing is, this is actually fun. And one of the ones I picked up recently, um, one of the ALTs who left gave me the, the English version of Assassination, Cla Assassination Classroom. So, and so I picked up the Japanese version. It seems interesting. I'm kind of, I've gotten to the point where I don't need the English versions much anymore, which is awesome. But uh, certain things are still incredibly challenging. I'm, I'm, into, I'm getting into more novels and things like that now, which is cool because it shows that I'm getting better. 
Yay, good job. So I must be honest from the beginning. I realized that there are tons and tons and tons of fantastic resources for free online. And some people might be saying, why would you want to spend money on books when you can just get stuff for free? I get that. I totally get it. Especially when you start reading. It's so important to find things that keep your motivation high. Because most people start with textbooks. And textbooks tend to be really rather boring. It's really fun when you start. But then it gets frustrating because you realize how much you don't know. And one way you can hack this aspect of motivation is to read things in Japanese that you already know well in, in English. So how do we find these books? Well, if you live in Japan, it's actually incredibly easy. You find the nearest book off, and then you go there with lots of money and spend lots of hours looking around, find wonderful things, buy them, and then you're happy. Just like this bear. Look at him. <laughs> he looks so happy. <laughs> The alternatives are shopping online at places like Amazon.co.jp and Yahoo Auctions. If you're living outside Japan, it's amazing how many things you can find. Like if people go to Japan and come back to the States and sell them online. Places like Amazon are really good for this. And so it's not impossible. It might be a bit more expensive depending on what you want. But if it's something you really, really like, it's worth putting in the money. They're studying vocabulary, and then they're studying kanji, and then they're studying grammar. That each, each book has multiple layers, multiple levels of ways that you can approach it. Oh, yes. One thing I forgot to mention is that if you read these through the years, the more you go over them, the more you will realize you're getting better. And it's a really, really cool way to notice you're, that you're actually improving. You know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to just read it once and then throw it away. I mean, especially if it's something you really like. You know, for me, especially the Evangelion one, those have, been, those have helped me so much. And then when I got to Japan, I went to um, Book Off and then bought the whole, the whole set for 1,000 yen, which is about 10 bucks, which is really, really good. I don't know if eBay is still kind of alive and kicking, but I used to buy a lot of comics on eBay. There was one time where a dude, I got to know him really well online because I bought so many books from him. And he, he at one time was like, dude, I, I, I don't want, he didn't say dude, but I said dude. He was like, dude, I have all these books I don't need. Can I send them to you? And I was like, oh, that's, what do I pay? And he's like, oh, I don't pay anything. And he sent me like 60 some books for free. Like it was amazing. Such a nice dude. I mean, you can meet some really cool people depending on the, depending on the sellers, depending on if they are cool people. It used to be White Rabbit Japan and now it's OMG Japan. They changed their brand, they changed their name and branding. They have a lot of textbooks. I don't know how many comics they have. And then uh, the japanshop.com is really good. The husband and wife who run that are, are super cool and, um, I think they have used comics on there. I'll be talking a lot more about the japanshop.com in the Japanese graded reader videos because they have an absolutely fantastic selection of Japanese graded readers for beginner and intermediate students. So I think a lot of people can benefit from those as well. If you're interested in comics in general and you want just like a box of manga, there's a company that I found on, on Instagram called boxofmanga.com and you fill out a form and tell them what level you are and then they select comics for you and then ship them to you and so that might be interesting as well so let's take a look at amazon.com if you're living outside japan because i know there are some people who just listen to this and go oh okay i get how to do it but then there are some people who really would like to see it so let's go through it okay so first let's type in evangelion japanese and then scroll through and see if there are any things in japanese because most of it of course is going to be in english as it's the english store no, next page. No, no. Aha! And here we have the first one. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at this. The main one is for about 12 bucks and used. It's, it's almost $4. That's not too bad. And then depending on the shipping, it's probably going to be maybe six, 6 bucks for the first one. Okay, so next, let's try Evangelion actually in Japanese. Evangelion. So if you don't know how to type it out, there are a few ways that you can go about finding it. So one of the best general ways to find something is type the name, so type Evangelion, and then small tsu, and then te, so Evangelion te, which I believe is the casual quotation marker, which is frequently used for asking what something means or what something is. So scroll down, and then you'll find Evangelion on Wikipedia, the Japanese Wikipedia page. So as you can see, there are two, which is interesting. The top one is Ewangelion, and then the bottom one is Evangelion. So 
the top one is probably before they invented the V sound because they didn't have it for a long time. I actually don't know when that started, when that came into use, but that's really interesting to see how they spelled it before. So then to copy that and then put it into Amazon. You can also go to the Evangelion Wikipedia page and the Japanese name will be there. But I mean, there, there are so many different ways you can find the names, but that's just one. And then one small thing just for the future, because when I started typing out Japanese, it took me a long time to recognize this. But like, if you start typing in Eva get, it comes up right there. And so then you just touch it and it fills it in for you. And that's just a cool thing that you, once you get used to it, it's incredibly convenient. Okay, so let's try to find the whole series. And in Japanese, one way you can do this is to type the word setto, set. So type in Evangelion setto. Okay, 63 bucks, that's not too bad. Oh, I see an issue in the title though. Do you know what I'm talking about? So this one has 12. Now I believe before they went on the hiatus, there were 12, but then after when they actually finished the series, it went to 14. Okay, so this one says the marketplace set. And 20, almost 24 bucks. Uh, the, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> why would that be significantly cheaper than the other one? Um, okay, that just seems kind of weird. That just seems kind of weird. 92% uh, ratings, that's not actually, that's not, that's not too bad. Oh, and then here's the 1 through 14, so why does that one go back up to almost 60? Okay, so that, that previous one, I would stay away from. Just something, something seems wrong about that in terms of the pricing. Unless they're being really generous for some reason, which seems uh, suspicious on its, on its face. Yeah, but that's just me. I'd have to look into it more um, if I was actually going to consider buying it. But uh, So this one looks pretty good. This is the entire set of 14. Can you see it in the picture? It has the 13th and 14th comic in it. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on on eBay. <laughs> I haven't been there in a long time, so this will be fun. Okay, so Evangelion. Good. Setto. Ah, no matches. Okay, so let's try Evangelion in English. Ah. <laughs> It changed to evangelism. <laughs> okay, that's not what we're looking for. So <laughs> be careful of that kind of stuff with titles because sometimes it changes it. Okay, so 848 yen for the first one. I'm in Japan, so it, it doesn't come up as dollars. eBay, surprisingly enough, seems to have a wider selection of individual comics. But uh, let's see if we can find the whole set. Oh, and there we go. So 6,902 yen or best offer. Well, that's cool, you can always make an offer, so. Two dollars, I'll give you two dollars for the whole set. So, you can always see how, <laughs> what you can offer and what they'll accept, so. And this one has free shipping, so that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, if you pay about 60, it's a, it's, you're looking at maybe four dollars a comic, which really isn't bad. Okay, so next let's try out, oh my god, Japan, to see what they have for the Evangelion comics. Usually they have a ton of JLPT stuff, they have a ton of textbooks, and so... Oh my god, they have AT Field Clippers? <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. I need those. Okay, bags, figures, figures, figures. It's not looking like any comics. Check on the next page, yep, figures, figures, figures. Okay, so no luck there. Let's try the japanshop.com to see if they have any Evangelion comics for sale. Evangelion. Ah, uh, no results. Okay, so that's a really basic idea of how to look for, for Japanese comics if you're living outside Japan. And when you scroll at your own pace and, you know, it, it goes by pretty quickly, so. So if you're living in Japan, let's try uh, amazon.co.jp. So type in Evangelion. Set. Let's see what they have. Oh, cool. First result. And God, that's a lot of money for the, <laughs> it's like almost 90 bucks. Use, look at that. 1,660 yen. So not too badly priced on Amazon. That's pretty good. All right. So let's go to Yahoo Auctions. Type in Evangelion. Evangelion set. Evangelion set. What do they got? What do they got? 
Okay, no, no, that figures. Ah, the, 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 the Japanese stores have so many cool things. So many fantastic things. Of the DVDs. Uh, cosplay stuff. Avert your eyes, children. Oh, there she is again. We don't need to be seeing that. My wife will be angry with me. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so let's try Evangelion set 14. Oh, good. Okay, so we have that one. 1,198 yen. That's not bad. That's about as much as what I paid. Let's look at the next one. 1,490 yen. That's not bad either. As you can see, unfortunately, it's a lot cheaper when you're living in Japan. And then look at the shipping and see if that's something you want to purchase. And so yeah, uh, that pretty much concludes this part about a general idea of where to look if you want to purchase comics. And here we have the third part. Here I'll show you how to change the language from Japanese to English on Amazon.co.jp. And then I'll show you how to buy things if you don't have a credit card. And then on Yahoo Auctions, I show a few things, but I, I can't really show you much because I'm not actually bidding on anything. So I apologize if that's not useful, but... I slaved away editing, recording, and re-recording. <laughs> <laughs> so for the sake of that one person who might find it helpful, here it is. Okay, so to change the language from Japanese to English on Amazon.co.jp, scroll all the way to the bottom. And then on the upper left-hand side next to the globe, you'll see Nihongo. Touch that, change it to English, and save the changes. And so then right here, this is what it looks like when it's in Japanese. So let's go through the process of hypothetically buying one of the Evangelion sets we found if we don't have a credit card and we live in Japan. Go to the used. And now the main thing you want to be looking at is the convenience store slash ATM portion. Because if you don't have a credit card, like I don't, um, this is how you want to do it. So you notice the first two have it, the third one does not. So choose one of the, the either the first or second one. So why the convenience store slash ATM? Well, this picture conveys the feeling almost perfectly. It's amazing. It's fantastic. <laughs> Especially if you're a foreigner living in Japan. It's not terribly easy to get a credit card, which sounds really strange if you're from the U.S. You order it on Amazon. They send you a code. You bring that to a convenience store, they scan it, you pay for it, and then they send it to you. It's absolutely fantastic. So this is the easiest way that I know of to get stuff from Amazon. So this is what it looks like in Japanese when you're searching for stuff. And so here we have the Evangelion series, and this is the used. And again, look for the ATM. Select one of those. And so from here, then we'll have the both English and Japanese side by side so you can see what they look like. Ah, I forgot I have the Nightmare Before Christmas book in there still, so the price will be different. Ah, nobody will notice. And then assuming you've put in your address and everything, of course click Ship to this address. And then here's the Japanese. Next up, choose the shipping. This is really interesting to see in Japanese. If you ever forget which one is standard, look at the other ones, and all of them have different dates. And the standard shipping does not. So if you forget, it's one of the easiest ways to remember. And then choose the convenience store slash ATM. And if in the Japanese they ever ask you to send it somewhere again, just choose your same address again. Confirm everything and then place your order. Okay, so on to the Yahoo auctions. So basically this is only for if you're living in Japan. You can do it if you're living outside Japan, but you need like proxy services and stuff and it can get really expensive. Um, let's take a look at the Evangelion comics, uh, the set that we found earlier. Let's take a look at that one. And this shows that there's one person watching as well. I mean, it'll, most of this stuff is pretty easy to understand. So this button on the right with the star is watch. So it's for your watch list. So this one is about how much time is remaining. And then this one is when the auction finishes. The left part is if anything's wrong with it. The middle part with the hammer is how many bids. And then on the right is how many questions have been asked. So this is the part for shipping. And as you can see, 
shipping to Tokyo is 660 yen, but if you touch this blue text here, that's how you change where it's shipped to, and then you can see how the price changes. And then this is from a different item, but it just shows the shipping from the slowest to the fastest. And so depending on which item you choose, it can have different shipping options. So if you want to make a bid, click this orange button, Imasugu Raksats. And that, the dictionary says Raksats is to make a successful bid. But then here, Nyusatsu is to bid. So to be honest, I really don't understand the difference between them but it is what it is. And then, so this one is to confirm, kakuninsuru. And then the next one is kanyo, to complete. In terms of payment options, payment on Yahoo Auctions isn't, isn't as difficult as I remember, um, mainly because I was using the mobile version and on the desktop version, the payment options show up automatically. And another cool thing, if you use the desktop version is you can use Rika Champ or Rika Kun to have the Japanese come up you know, come up with words that you don't know, they just pop up. You can use the options of like translate this page, but doing this is a, is a, is a study, is like a fun study option for me, so I, I never use it. So when you go down on the desktop version, they have all these different uh, payment options fully displayed. So you have PayPay, pay, credit card, the internet banking, banking transfers, and then all the way to the bottom is the one that is basically the same as amazon.co.jp, which is the convenience store, the Combini. So this is the mobile version of the auction we just looked at on the PC. And so let's go look at um, the payment options. Yeah, so here there's nothing displayed. And so basically what you have to do is click on, is click on this part here, and then you have to click on this part. And then you have all the, all the pay options right here. And now there's T-Point. That wasn't on the other one, so that's curious. Um, but yeah, that's how you find it. And as long as you can pay those ways, you should, you should be all right. When I bought something a few years ago, I talked to the seller and basically figured out the way that I wanted to pay because I was new to it and I didn't know all this stuff. And it was a bit rough. We, we got through it, and he was nice enough to to basically, basically help walk me through it and simplify it for me. And it was all in Japanese, of course, but, and, and so it was, it was a bit rocky, but if you're just honest, like, Hey, I'm a, I'm a foreigner. I really, really want this. You know, they should be nice and patient and help you through it. So I honestly don't remember how I paid, <laughs> but we exchanged a few emails and I eventually figured it out. So, um, you know, I hope, I really hope this helps, but you, you know, sometimes you just have to plunge in and make mistakes and try if you get the thing that you want out of it, that's it's not too bad of a deal. So as I mentioned before, you can do the translate this page thing, and that's basically just adding an extension in your browser. Uh, I don't know how accurate it is, but aside from like Rikai Kun or Rikai Champ, that's pretty much the best thing you have at your disposal. So. Um... Yeah, so... Yeah, so I think that's I think that's pretty good. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There's always there's always more stuff to talk about. So yeah, I think we'll call it a day there. Ooh, anyone a fan of Persona Five? Ooh yeah, clear folders. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope that was at least moderately interesting. Any questions, comments, or feedback are most appreciated. Either bilingual books or Japanese graded readers are coming up next. If any of those are interesting, then hopefully we will see you next time.